along with the GMB are down here today to let you know that we have a national agreement that should be applied to this project. It's the National Agreement for Engineering Construction Industry, the Nike Blue Book, well respected by the guys who've worked under it and it should be applied on this job. It's there to protect all workers, if you're British, if you're Polish, Lithuanian. The Danish contractor, BWSC, doesn't want to apply the agreement. So why are they hiding from you? The primary reason we're here today is to try and put pressure on this contractor to sign up to the national agreement for um, the construction engineering industry, which he refuses to do. Um, which is quite contrary to what goes on in his own country, actually, because if it had been in Denmark and they undertook the same work, they would have to sign up to the national agreement there. So we're only asking them to do the same in terms of the UK agreement. It's also quite contradictory with some of the things he said, because he says that he pays the rate. So he's cherry-picking parts of the agreement. But of course, it's all the other allowances and uh, benefits that he won't sign up to. And, you know, on the one hand, he says um, he, we, we do all of that anyway, but then he, when he talks about some of the work that he's putting out to subcontract, um, clearly they're doing it to increase profit. At the same time, they're also putting pressure in Denmark to conduct an investigation into some of the practices as well. They've given GMB and Unite an assurance that they will investigate some of these practices um, that exploit some of these loopholes. We can protect your earnings, make sure you're getting the correct overtime premiums, make sure you're getting the proper travel accommodation, make sure you're getting the proper mileage, and make sure above all you're not being exploited with the rates of pay. We have categorised rates of pay for all trades between 12 and 18 pound an hour. By talking to the blokes through the fence, we found out that we've got guys there on the civil side of the project who are bogus self-employment umbrella companies, they're having to pay 15 pound to get their wage slips every week. And that's what we expected, you know, the national agreement in engineering construction stops all those dodgy working practices. I've just had it verified by our boss. This is our land. Who's your boss then? I'm not telling you, but we've, I've just been told to come down here and ask, we'll come we'll come ask you politely you if you can yeah. remove yourself from the we'll park. Come, we'll come yeah. You, you should have signs up who the contractor is. Oh, yeah, there's you're no, not, you're there's breaking no, the there's law. No method of You've got nothing up here about health and safety. If I report back now, please get the call. That's all right. You can do. You can if you want to call the police. I understand that Kent County Council may be desperate to have people here on this site, which has been derelict for quite some time, and especially as Pfizer's have pulled out a lot of that of their plant in the area. In the area, but just throwing money at uh, multinational companies is not the way forward and it's not going to provide job security. There's high unemployment here, particularly in Dover and Ramsgate. Well, we're only here because we've been told to use on their land. Yep. Uh, you crossed the boundary and they want, they've asked you to leave and you didn't leave. And, well, there's you know, a set of regulations called construction design and management regs. They should have up the site notices of who you can make contact with and they should also have up the health and safety executive, the ones who enforce health and safety, notices up. They've got no display of those notices. Like, so they're committing a crime yeah, under those regulations. You take that up with the, uh, with well, the appropriate we authorities, to, don't you? We went to that position and we stood outside. We spoke to some, some of the workers then. The Nike agreement has been in place for decades in the UK and we won't see it disappear by disreputable companies like BWSC who come in here and think they can undercut the agreement. We're looking to raise the profile to ensure that this type of project and other projects around the UK come under the Nike agreement and don't slip under the radar. We're all in this together. Workers across Europe unite.